Welcome to day 92 of the 100 day mindfulness challenge. My name is Miss Deer and today we are challenging negative thoughts by turning our can'ts into cans. Yesterday we looked at some of the different kinds of negative thoughts that can come up in your mind in different situations. One of those thoughts is, I can't do it, or I won't be able to do it. These thoughts can be quite nasty because they give us an idea that we won't be able to do something before we've even tried. And often, if we listen to these thoughts, if we don't bin them, but we save them, we can end up feeling stuck. I'm talking about thoughts like this. I can't do my seven times tables or a backwards row. I can't remember what verbs are. I can't read in front of other people. I can't play an instrument. I can't meditate or draw or speak French. I'm going to give you two minutes now and I want you to write down as many of your I can't thoughts as you can. Pause if you need to get a pencil and paper and when you are ready, off you go. What kinds of things does your mind tell you that you can't do? This might be something quite small or quite big. It might be something from school or it might be something at home. Are there any I can'ts that you can think of that relate to certain subjects at school? Are there any I can'ts thoughts that relate to physical activities? Are there any things that you would like to do, but you don't feel confident enough to? Are there any things that you'd like to do, but you don't feel smart enough to? And when you're ready, put your pen or pencil down. Taking a look at your thoughts now that you've written down, how does it change things if you add the word yet into these thoughts? If you said, I can't do my seven times tables yet, or I can't meditate yet, or I can't do a backwards roll yet. When we add that word, that makes us feel as if there's a hope that we will one day be able to achieve this thing. And we move from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. Before we finish, I'd like you to consider how you could actually challenge one of these can't thoughts. What kind of small step could you take today to challenge one of these things and to begin building on that skill? If the thought is that you can't yet do your seven times tables, then could you just spend five minutes practicing them? If you can't remember what a verb is, could you look that up using a dictionary or the computer now? If you're feeling like you're no good at French, could you set yourself a challenge of learning one word in French today, either through a book or by watching a YouTube video? Could you challenge the thought that you can't play an instrument by learning a note or a chord and practicing just that? Could you face your fears of reading out loud by reading one sentence, one word or one page aloud to one other person in your family? In this final minute, 
I want you to use your pen or pencil and paper again and I want you to choose one thought that you can challenge today and I want you to decide how you are going to do that, what step you are going to take today. Off you go. As I've said, we've spoken about saving thoughts and binning thoughts before, and there's no better way than to bin one of these negative I can't statements than by taking action in the opposite direction and by turning your can't into can't yet, and one day a can. That's it for today. If there's anything that you'd like to share, just give an adult a nudge and they can share to Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. Details are on the screen. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.